Morning, fellow zombies. Oh, you workaholic zombies who can't sleep during the night. Yeah, it's yours really, Weaver, John C., Rosemont, California. What's going on? Another fun-filled diary to probably put you into your melancholy state and say, why the hell did I click on this guy in the first place? I don't know. You're the one that did it anyway, so deal with it. What's going on? Besides the narcolepsy still kicking my ass during the daytime. I got little bugs infestating the damn apartment, so now I got to deal with the outbreaks and the sources and the cleanup. When you're dealing with a hell of a lot of depression and a lot of crap going on in your head, and you feel like you're you're pressured into getting stuff done. Basically, you are pressuring yourself to get stuff done. I know it because I do it too many damn times myself. And I've been doing it a lot lately. The more I keep seeing the accumulation of boxes obtained from Walmart and from Amazon without even realizing... I can't even talk, right? Without even realizing it, I have amassed enough stuff to tick off management left and right. I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of it. Not to mention trying to cat play catch up on the cleanup um, of uh, my laundry. I can't get enough clean clothes to wear. <sighs> Everyday regular chores. A kitchen that needs to be cleaned up. Countertops need to be wiped down. A stove top needs to be scrubbed down a little bit here and there. Just to show that it's still workable. Not to mention getting the the dishes washed. If one has a dishwasher and some dish pad, uh, dish pods, boom, you're in May. Just shove the dishes in there in a certain sequence and an order, and boom. Now you're probably scratching your heads. Does this guy have ADHD or what? No, it's something. Uh, something to say to keep my brain working as it is even if I have to go into the weird details and the minor minor stuff it's because I'm trying to keep it together in my head and trying to keep my head together especially when I know I'm falling apart still so the details matters on some occasions and other times they're just like oh my god I need to go back in bed again and just die and for the most part, I think for the past several months, it's been it's been driving me crazy that way, where I am moaning and groaning about this stuff. Now, from the common layman or somebody who hasn't been suffering through any kind of mental health illness of any sort, and yes, I do lump in grief, and I do lump in a depression, and anxiety, PTSD, and anger, and God knows what else we got in there. Because they're all part of the package. And, um, basically, uh, a person would look at a, another person and say, Why don't you get off your dead lazy ass and get something worked on? What's wrong with you? You know how hard and embarrassing it is for someone who has mental health illness but who cannot express it to the other person simply because there's no context and no perspective. I've been saying a lot of it in my videos. Context. Perspective. Think back when you were a child. Your mother kept trying to tell you, don't go for the cookie jar 
that's on the refrigerator. Don't go for it. No matter how tempting the cookies are on the damn thing. And how old are you? Well, let's see. You're barely old enough to move a ladder or move a chair. But if you have neither, what are you going to do? You're going to try climbing a refrigerator to get to the damn thing, aren't you? One way or another, because you want those damn cookies. Eventually, you'll do something that'll cause a disaster because you want to get to those damn cookies. Let's just say that you started climbing on this. Let's get a better perspective on this one, okay? Better layout. You are living in an apartment. Say in my apartment. And there is a bunch of sweet stuff on top of the refrigerator, which I do have. A lot of sweet stuff. I just haven't eaten and I haven't had the urge to go and eat some of it. In fact, I do have some of it by a drawer next to my bed. But I don't have it there just to have a sweet spot. It's there for emergencies. In case we have a situation happening where I need to have a little bit of food with me and a little bit of water so for survival purposes. But, being a foodie, I have to admit it to myself, uh, an, overeating, uh, an overeating person. Now, there's a lot of triggers in this damn place that go put me into weird spots, I'll tell you. But getting back to the story, I'll have a toddler in here. Once you get to the good stuff. Barely be able to move the chairs because the chairs are all occupied. Or are they? All it takes is one available stool or chair to get on top of the stove and click on the electric burners. And at this point, and this is all hypothetical, by the way, boys and girls. This is all hypothetical. But I'm saying this as an example at this point over here of what insanity is got to get the cookie. Call it cartoon logic, okay? You get on top of the stove. You don't even realize that you got a couple of burners going, including the one underneath your foot. But you still want to get to it. But you're halfway there because half the distance is the tallest point of the stove next to the refrigerator, which is the cooktop. So, halfway distance. So you're thinking in your, in your juvenile mind, yay, now what do I do? Okay, you need a ladder. I don't have a ladder. No, you do. You open the refrigerator door. You open the freezer door. And you stick your foot, you stick your your feet in there. And you're going to climb on top of that while the stove is hot and possibly burning and going to be starting a fire in a few seconds here. You didn't even realize that it possibly on the stove if it was cleaned off or not, or if there was enough grease remnants on there to cause a nice good fire. I don't care, you want the damn cookie. So now you get the refrigerator door. But now you got to bang in like crazy. Now, here's the thing. Do you have anybody watching your ass at this point? Are they sleeping? Oh, you're just being a little terror right now. Because at this point, somebody would have noticed the smell of the, fridge, uh, of the uh, stove. They would have been hearing the banging going on in the fridge, in the, in the place. And if you're a toddler, you're not going to care about anything. You want the cookies. Now, let's just say if you're about 10 years old. Maybe in a 10-year-old, he would have better manners and better attitude and better way of getting at the damn thing. He would ask. But he knows he can't get it. 
So, try this technique. How about if the place that you're at has a grabber? You've seen them before in different places, in different handicap places that reach out. Waldos, whatever they call them. But just a pincer. Just a pincer to grab and pull. Of course, you've got to be tall enough to get to it. Now, if you're going to be a per very precocious kid, you would hope that maybe you can get something to stand up on. Maybe if you're smart enough, you wouldn't be putting yourself on the stove and causing a fire or causing yourself to burn and, and screaming holy, uh, holy terror at this point over here and all hell breaking loose. Well, let's just say that you actually did barely carry the chair over to the refrigerator and you were able to step on top of it. Now, here's the question. Is your Waldo, is your uh, grabber big enough or long enough? Able to move stuff around to get to the cookies that you have your target on. It takes a little genius. It takes a lot of effort. A lot of maturity. Context and perspective. A 10-year-old would have a little bit more computing power in his squishy brain than a toddler who wants the damn cookie. And he's willing to go through any lengths to get to the damn thing. Now, of course, if you guys were a film connoisseur, you would have realized that possibly certain elements of what I was talking about would be possibly related to, oh, let's say, a... Um, live action animated film called Who Framed Roger Rabbit and a little kid in there is an actor I've never seen the characters before but some of them are invented and you've got this one guy who's drawn up as a baby acts part of a baby but he's still an old fart because he acts like one or acts like an adult somewhat but he's still a toddler and he's going to do whatever else he can to get to his target according to the film I suggest you rent a film or find it somewhere even find it streaming somewhere who framed Roger Rabbit and just look at the for the first few seconds of in that studio where the baby's going crazy. Because sometimes when I think about insanity, it does that to me at times. Forces me to go to, forces me to go beyond perspective. Because I am so focused and fixed on getting something done that I ignore what's happening around me, including safety. And that's a problem right there. I'm not using my head. I'm not using perspective or context at this point. I'm using insanity. I've become the toddler who thinks that climbing on the stove would help getting the stuff off the refrigerator. Now, a regular adult would see, would say, no. All you need to do is get a step ladder and get the stuff if you're if you're that having, if you're that uncomfortable with it. Or get a get a grip and get the stuff down. As an adult, or just. Do something crazy and stupid, and and insult your life. I can't do that. I mean, I could do it, but 
it scares the hell out of me. Yeah, why would someone talk about this stuff by 3 o'clock in the morning? Trying to figure this stuff out. What's so screwed up about it, huh? Well, I've seen so many jackass things being done these days, and I'm not quite sure. They'll put them on YouTube. They'll put them out there. TikTok, Instagram, God knows what else. Just to prove that they were an idiot. And I look at some of the stuff I've done in the past... And I really was an idiot. For instance, sticking your foot barefooted, naked, into a garbage can to compact it. Not realizing that some of those cans have lids still sticking up. Ones with the sharpened blades on them. With the sharpened pieces of metal. Ready to shred the living crap out of your damn foot. Next thing I know, I'm visiting a hospital, getting my foot stitched up. Because I can't stop from getting into a damn accident as a kid. Or better yet, those uh, pruners that they actually had, uh, tree pruners that would uh, clip up with branches left and right a long time ago. It looked like damn ducks. Or something with a bill on it. You know. Um. Very sharp blades. Well, they're supposed to be sharpened. But put enough force on those things. And they could snap the branches like crazy. They can also snap off a damn thumb as well. A <sighs> damn near lost us a house. And this was at the age of, oh, nine years old. Kind of stupid, don't you think? I think. So that's what happened when I was a young kid. Was I thinking during the time? Fuck no. Well, hell no. So some things I have to do and I have to take care of. And I have to do it while thinking and I have to be doing it while reacting. Today I hope to get the laundry going and get some stuff washed. But what I'm not hoping for is doing something stupid that might end me Hand me my ass. Right now, the sleep is still trying to get to me, so is the narcolepsy. We're talking four, a little past four right now. And since I've got a bunch of garbage bags that i got to be taken care of, I'll do those before I go to bed. Back to bed and sleep the shit off. But as for the other boxes, well, that's a different story altogether, isn't it? Because I still need to get those things, but uh, the priority right now is going to be clothing because I need that more. I need more clean, clean clothing, so it has to be done this weekend. And also this weekend, get rid of the damn heavy-duty box I've got that has boxes sticking in it, or actually out of it. And as I said before earlier in my in my earlier uh, video here, my vlog. Management doesn't take too kindly of seeing shit like this, and neither does neighbors. They will snitch. Keep the windows closed, they won't have to find out, but I still need to get the ventilation going on. Catch 22, isn't it? But they can also see how much shit I've been buying in the first place. That's why I don't like to get my, my boxes out during the daytime, because I'm open season for everybody. They can see how much I've bought. Whether or not I'm a uh, millionaire or not. And quite frankly, nobody has been bothering me concerning about anything else. I haven't noticed. 
kind of weird. Anyway, I thought I'd just chew the tail off of something here. Kind of grizzly, don't you think? Anyway, later on, zombies, get some sleep if you can. Because after I'm done with the damn garbage, oh, all I have to do the boxes right now. <laughs>